Rescue, Data and Repair. My name is Dr. Ben and it's time for a revolution in the repair market. So in some of my videos before, I showed you the new I2C 6S programmer. At first in this video, I want to tell you something about the programmer. So with this programmer in one of the last videos, I was showing you that you can change the front flex cable on an iPhone, iPhone 8 to iPhone 12 Pro Max without losing True Tone and without losing the Face ID on the models which have a Face ID. So iPhone X to iPhone 12 Pro Max, Face ID um, will stay on and will work if you change the front flex cable if you have water damage or whatever. So you can copy the data from the old front flex to the new front flex. One little mistake I did because it was wrong communicated. Um, you need the original front flex for doing this. Um, otherwise you need to take out the NAND. So I was thinking it works um, without having the front flex cable. Why? I was booting up the device, disconnecting the front flex, then copying data. But on booting up, um, the, uh, the, 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 ident, the identity of the cable is pushed into the system. And this was why I could copy data without connected front flex. So sorry people for my little mistake. I think you all understand this. So with this programmer, it's possible to transfer data from the old front flex to a new front flex to unbind the device. And after that, you can use the new front flex in the device, but you need the original cable. If you don't have the original cable, you need to take out the NAND and unbind the, unbind the NAND. You can unbind NAND by using the JCP13, by using JCP11, by using, um, JC uh, P8 or by using the I2C P14 module like ever. You can use every NAND programmer which supports unbinding accessories. Okay, so it's not needed to buy um, an expensive new NAND programmer to unbind uh, the accessories um, to get the new cable working. So that is something I wanted to say at the start of this video, but now it's time for the revolution. So back in the days, I think two or three months ago, I was already talking uh, to I2C. We are I2C ambassador in Germany and um, we were just talking about something like, um, and I talked uh, to many manufacturers about this. Um, so if we have an issue with the dart projector on the phone. So we had a water contact and the dart projector is deactivated. What do we do then? Normally we just remove the dart projector from the prison. After that, we just copy the data from the old deactivated Romeo IC to our device. And then we take a new flex cable, which has an integrated chip on the flex and we copy data from uh, the old Romeo IC to the new IC on the flex cable. So after that, we just remove the MOSFET and bridge two pins under the MOSFET to deactivate the use of the old Romeo IC. And then the system detects the new IC on the new flex and we can use the face ID again. But we have to take out the dot from the prism. We have to get the dot back under the prism after we uh, soldered the dot to a new flex or if we use the chip method, we work inside the dot and then get the original flex with the dot right back onto the prism. Then we have to use a calibrator and we have to use glue to glue the dot back to the prism. We can use glue which we can heat up to dry or we can use a UV glue like ever, what you want, yeah? But always on these things it's like, you have to calibrate it in the right way. Sometimes after gluing back um, the dot to the prism, it's like it doesn't want to detect your head and you have to recalibrate by hand, whatever. It can take time and time is something which takes money <laughs> because in this time we can do other jobs. So now the thing is, and we talked a lot about this, why isn't it possible to make a tack on flex. So a tack on flex, which we, and I, I got the picture of this here and Tim will get it into the, into the video. 
So a tag on flex, which we connect to the .fpc and then connect to the logic board. And on the tag on flex, we should have the new IC and the deactivation for the old IC in the dot. That was my thinking about that. So, and now the revolution started and there are after a new year holiday, new manufacturers, new programmers, and now it is possible to repair the face ID, the dot projector without even soldering anything, without taking off a chip, without doing anything. You just need to take out the true depth camera system, connect it to your programmer. In this case, I2C already has these tag on flexes in production. They will start deliver them within the next week. We will get a large stock at smartpartstar.com, not a problem. So we just copy the old data from the old dart projector right to our system, um, to our programmer. After this, we take our tag on flex and connect this to the programmer and we write the data to the tag on flex. After this, we get it into the into the device and we have a nice working face ID. So I already got videos from our suppliers and from the factories. It works pretty fine. So there are already programmers on the market available, but little stuck. So the AY programmer, I will get Tim a, video, a picture about this for the video. So the AY already um, made um, a sample for us and this will come, I hope within the next two or three days or perhaps four days, it comes with FedEx Ex Express. I will do a video for you. So the A108 can do this, okay? Not a problem. Mijing released a programmer who can do this too. So same thing here, tag on flex, same method. And today I had a lot of contact with I2C. I2C already um, was showing me it works, everything perfect and fine and they are just in mass production. So we had New Year holiday, factories were standing still. So, and this is why the, the large stock of the flexes wasn't produced until now. But factories run again, I2C is um, already producing and I'm pretty sure that JC and others will come with that technology too. At the moment, I don't have a feedback of JC because they are just right back from uh, the holiday and we just didn't have uh, the right contact to talk about. But what I can tell you that the I2C 6S programmer already supports the reading of the old chip and the writing to the new um, to the new tech on flex because it's the same technology technology as before so the programmer doesn't need a software update at all it will work fine like this with the tech on flex and the tech on flexes are in production and they will be available within the next 10 or 14 days at smartpartstar.com so a really 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 nice news after Chinese New Year holiday we got a new method to fix the face ID the true depth camera system without even soldering cluing positioning calibrating nothing is needed what do you think about this that's a good start of the year yeah give me your comment about this and uh, I hope to see you in the next video there will come a lot of nice videos uh, in the next time I think so we have some produced before so check our channel, uh, subscribe the channel, give us a comment and visit smartpartstar.com. And if you need uh, our help with a device for data recovery or something like that, check rescue-repair.com. I'm out, use Dr. Beth. <laughs>